Let me start by a quick word for the middle school, high school students. Uh, just in a, give me a couple minutes here, explain to you how not to choke in a sporting event. So hang on. I don't know if you caught it. Um, Jesus in the, uh, in the reading says, peace be with you. And the word peace uh, occurred, I think, four times in the gospel reading. And in our mass today, you'll probably hear the word peace a dozen times, maybe a few more. Jesus keeps saying this at different times in the gospel stories. Peace I give you. I was wondering if you ever gave that any thought. Or to put it differently, are you at peace? Has the Lord given you this peace and you embrace it and you go through life with your soul at peace? I don't know your answer, of course, but I suspect for many of us, maybe the correct answer is sometimes. You know, sometimes we experience that sense of peace and calm in our lives. Other times, not so much. We are disquieted, to use that term, We're just restless. So the question is, is there anything you and I can do about this? I mean, or are we just stuck with this? You know, sometimes we have peace, sometimes not, just the way we are. Or is there some way by which we can embrace a little more peace and a little less disquiet? I think the answer to that comes from this incident in, that you heard in the gospel. The thing you want to notice is that the situation that the disciples are in doesn't change when Jesus offers them his peace. I mean, consider this. You know, before Jesus shows up, the disciples are locked. They've locked themselves into a room because they are afraid of the religious leaders of their day. Jesus has been killed by them. They think it's a very likely possibility that they are next. When Jesus shows up, he does not say to them, hey, you don't have to worry about this anymore. I took care of it. You know, I went and explained things to the religious leaders. He doesn't say, you don't have to worry about this. I have posted a legion of angels around this building. He doesn't say any of that. He does not change their circumstances in any way. But he says, peace be with you. And don't you have the impression that that is exactly what happened to the disciples? They went from the spirit of being all anxious to a spirit of peace. Because what Jesus did give them was himself, his presence. He was there. In essence, Jesus changed their focus. Got them to focus not on, I could get killed here in a few days, to... I'm in the presence of God. Which is where the sport thing comes up. Many of you know that I worked at Tampa Catholic as a teacher and a technology guy for a whole lot of years before I became a priest. Most of you don't know that I also spent 25 seasons coaching the golf team. I loved playing golf. I loved coaching the kids. And my job with the kids was not so much to teach them to hit the ball farther and all that sort of stuff. Mostly my job with high school boys mostly, was to teach them the mental side of golf. And, and we did have some, uh, a, you know, not a whole lot, but a few really good golfers. And those guys would occasionally, not very often, but occasionally they would get themselves into a pressure situation on the golf course where they would know, for example, that I need to make this putt to win the match or I need to make this putt to win the tournament. And they were... They, they, they were under some pressure. My job was to get them ready for that, and my strategy for them was to be aware of what they were focusing on. Most people, and the teenagers here, you'd appreciate this if you're in a golf match or if you're standing up there about to hit a penalty kick um, in a soccer game, you know, you're at bat and you are, you know, it's the bottom of the ninth and there's a, a tying run on the bases. You have a tendency to think about the situation. You have a tendency to think about what's going to happen if you succeed in whatever it is you're doing, or even worse, you'll start thinking about what's going to happen if you fail. So you start thinking about, well, if I miss this putt, I'm going to let the team down, and uh, it's, going to, it's going to be awful. And by focusing there, what you end up with 
is you end up with tension. You are, you are not at peace. And it is true in all sports, it's especially true in golf, the easiest way to improve your golf game is to relax, to be at peace, just to, just to swing, just to play. And so my strategy for the boys when they got in a pressure, pressure situation was simply to stop and pause and just see if they could change their focus to, like in the case of golf, to focus on the fact that Wow, it is a gorgeous day. I am out on a golf course. I could be in class, but I got out of class to come play in this match. And I'm playing really well today, and I am having a great time. And just concentrate, go back to the golf. And forget about what's going to happen in a few moments. Just, just block that out of your mind. Just, just relax. And then walk up, read the putt as best you can, make your best shot at it, and then see what happens. If it, if it goes in, that's terrific, and if it doesn't, eh, we'll figure it out. I just think that's what you and I need to do when we are in these moments where we don't feel God's peace. You know, because many of us over the last year, you know, either between the pandemic, the election, just to name two things, not to mention just personal things, relationships, relationship issues, things like that. You know, we've had these moments where we were just you know, just not at peace. But if you think back, were not those also moments where you were focused on something other than the Lord? You know, because if you turn on the news right at breakfast and you leave the news on all day long, the news broadcaster is not going to mention the, the Jesus at all, ever. And so, should you be surprised that by the end of the day, you're all kind of worked up about what's going on, whatever that happens to be. I just wonder if in those moments we start to feel like, mm, you know, like this isn't, this isn't good, that we need to change our focus. So, like maybe turn the TV off or do whatever, but almost like the disciples in some respects, just invite Jesus into the room. And change our focus from the fact that, oh, this is awful, whatever it is, to, ah, oh, Jesus, you're here. Because I can't help wondering that however we manage to do that, if we switch our focus to Jesus, he's not going to change our situation. The pandemic's still going to go on. The news is still going to be what the news is. None of that changes. But we'll change. We'll have that peace that Jesus promises us.